Hey y'all, here's the question of the day. What do women say about men, about their sexual stuff? That's what somebody asked me last night, so I've got an answer for you. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius, and I take sexy seriously, for your sake, for my sake, for everybody's sake. The more we know, the more we love, the better we do. All right, so here's the thing. Women, there are two kind of complaints, if you will, about men. First one, they're not good kissers. Okay, I'm not saying all men are not good kissers, but I'm just saying that that is what women will talk about with women that they might not say to a man's face. And if you're in the dating world, you'd be amazed how many women will simply not go on a second date because you're not a good kisser. They don't want to tell you that. They'll say, oh, it's just me, whatever, make all sorts of excuses, but it's because you're not a good kisser. So that's the first one. The second one, and it's so funny because I hear this even amongst swingers, I swear. Actually, I hear about bad kissers also, but that they're not good at going down on a woman. They're not good at going down on a woman. And a lot of women, it's a, it shocks me how many will say, I will fake an orgasm or just say, oh, no, no, just to stop it. Because they're down there and they're doing the same things over and over, but it's not making me, it's not getting me more excited. It's not getting me to come and I'm starting to feel bad for them that I'm not coming with what they're doing. Um, and yes, 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 I understand that women, we should be able to tell you what we want and how to do it so that we can orgasm, but sometimes we don't. Not justifying it, I'm just saying. So those men, like those are the two complaints I hear over and over and over again from women about men's performance sexually. So kissing, oral sex, here's what I want you to do. I want you to ask, I want you to notice what her response is to both of those actions and then to say, ooh, do you like it when I do this better? Or do you like it when I do this better? Or is there something else? Is there some place else you'd like me to kiss you? How do you feel when I kiss you? You can even say, why don't you want to kiss me more? Would you like me to improve on my kissing skills? Because I wouldn't just tell you this and then leave you hanging. The fact is it's easy, easy, easy to improve your kissing skills promise you. So I'm not going to waste time in this video. I'm going to put in a couple of links to a couple of blogs I wrote about how to kiss well. Um, I'll put those in the show in the description here for this YouTube video. So check those out and I promise you your kissing will improve lickety split. I literally taught a man to kiss in 20 minutes because I didn't want to go out with him again because he was such a bad kisser. Then I taught him how to kiss and we kept going out. It was awesome. So if he can learn that quickly, so can you. So go check out those blogs, but also ask your partner because she might want something different. Then but the same thing applies to going down on a woman. Do not, do not be afraid to ask afterwards. Okay, what, did you like this better? Did you like that better? Don't just say, did I do well? Did I do a good job? Were you happy? They'll say, oh yes, yes, yes. It's like placating, okay, platitudes. No, I want you to say, what did you like? Did you like it when I licked your clit really fast? Did you like it when I sucked on your clit? Did you like my fingers in? Would you have liked more fingers? Would you like fewer fingers? Did I find your G-spot? These are all really good questions and you won't know the answer unless you actually go out of your way to ask. And I promise you, when you do that with a woman, you're then going to free her to give feedback, honestly, constructively, and to also ask for your feedback when she's doing things. Also, of course, I have to pitch if you want help with your oral skills, go to sexyedschool.com. Go check out, I've got a class on fellatio and I've got a class on cunnilingus. It's the art of orally pleasuring her and the how to blow his mind while loving his body. Two great classes, I've got them even together as a two for a set. So there is no excuse for any man to not be a good kisser and to be good at going down on a woman. So there you have it. Start talking, asking, listening. Give me your feedback, let me know your stories, go check out those blogs, go check out sexyedschool.com. And by the way, if you haven't checked out my new podcast, Come With Us Podcast, please. You can find it anywhere you listen to your podcast. If you um, give us a review, please tell other people, subscribe to it, um, and I appreciate that. Let me know, always. Share your love stories with me because I'm always rooting for you. Big hugs and kisses. I'm Beth Darling, your sexy genius, and I will be back with another question of the day, hopefully tomorrow. But Sometimes I lose track of time, but I promise I'll be thinking about it and I'll see you soon. Love you. Bye.